So, uh, hello, good morning, guys. Today I wanted to talk about uh, streaming and especially streaming from the PXW FS5 from Sony via FFmpeg uh, wireless uh, to YouTube or other RTMP based uh, ingest uh, services. Uh, and why do I want to do this? Now, uh, the Sony FS5 has a very cool feature and it has uh, it's capable of doing 720p wireless streaming. It also has an Ethernet jack, so you can also do it wired. Uh, what does it do? It makes a, a low quality uh, stream. Um, and it's capable of doing UDP streaming to another IP in your network uh, via the Wi-Fi connection on the, <coughs> on the camera. Uh, if the Wi-Fi connection is good on the place where you are going to use it, then you are able to stream uh, via uh, the Wi-Fi uh, uh, system to another computer uh, in the network. On that uh, computer, we're going to run uh, FFmpeg on the command line and we are going to script uh, FFmpeg in not transcoding it, but use the compressed video directly from the camera and copy it to uh, ingest in YouTube so that YouTube is able of, uh, capable of uh, yeah, using that feed directly from the camera to distribute it and stream live on YouTube and all the benefits that it has. So um, the computer that's actually doing the copying from the camera to the to YouTube itself doesn't have any big load on the CPU because it's not transcoding. It's actually only copying from port 1234 to an external uh, uh, yeah, URL, which is the YouTube URL. So, um, yeah, the, I'm going to show you how to do it. I have written a, a document including all the script sources. Um, you can download it from github.com slash voidstation slash streaming uh, dash CLI. I'll link it below and written, write it down here over the video line um, how to set up your camera uh, I will show you uh, how to do it and I'll link to another video as well that shows you how to do it but for now I will uh, try to show you how to do it so now we're looking at uh, the Sony PXW FS5 and I'll show you the Wi-Fi setup. We're going to uh, see, uh, look at the menu, and then we're going to uh, this uh, icon here, and uh, that's the wireless setup. And uh, if you're going to do use Wi-Fi, then you have to set up uh, the connection. Uh, you can do that here, access point, and then click access point and the steps in access point will show you how it works it's very straightforward you have to select your access point obviously and put in a password and connect um, it's not connected by then but it will try to connect and it sees if it fails or not so that's the first step you have to do then you go back and you have to go to streaming so that's up here click it it has uh, several presets which you can select. This is the one obviously which you're using. I have set a preset one. I'll show you how to do it. When you haven't got any presets set up, then it's obviously not, not gonna stream. So it's important to create one. Now go to preset one, uh, select the size which you want to use. Here you'll see that I have two options, um, 360, P or 720p now VZ and I take I'm gonna take 720p. You can't go can't go any higher. 
and you can only uh, use uh, this feature when you're uh, using uh, full HD on the camera recording and not 4K because then you're not able to stream because then the processor probably is not gonna be able to do it. Now destination set. Destination host name is the IP address from the computer on which we're gonna run the command line interface. Uh, so uh, go to your computer and pair on an OS X uh, type uh, ifconfig and uh, on Windows it's ipconfig. And then it shows you the IP of the computer. Fill in that IP here. Make sure you have the handle connected because when you have the handle connected, the joystick control uh, helps a lot <laughs> while inputting uh, the numbers. Because otherwise the, the desktop keyboard is a pain. So make sure that you connect that. Um, port, use, just use one, two, three, four, it's fine. If you have multiple cameras connected to the same computer, then you obviously have to figure out a free port. But uh, that's doable. Now, then uh, we have connected of uh, made a preset. Then we go back. Now, the select preset select. Which one are we going to use? Now, we obviously going to use preset one because we just created that. Then we do return. And then we press streaming and then we press execute. Now you can select wired LAN or Wi Fi. I'm gonna use your Wi Fi, then it starts preparing. Now, as you see, it's connecting to my uh, access point. I'll take off the cap. Uh, here in the bottom you see uh, uh, thumbnail starts the stream and menu ends it. And if you press thumbnail after it's started, then it will also stop the stream. Okay, now we're gonna continue on the computer. Uh, I made sure you have downloaded uh, uh, stream to YouTube. SH and read the README file. Um, uh, make sure you did uh, uh, sudo shimot uh, uh, to, to uh, the plus x to uh, make sure that the file is executable. Make sure you have ffmpeg because otherwise it won't work. Um, make sure you have all those requisites because it's very important. FFmpeg is the best tool in, in, for these kinds of things. It's um, in my book also the only tool. Um, make sure you have entered your private key from your YouTube dashboard so that you are able to stream because YouTube needs a key and that key uh, so that they can identify you and your stream. Okay, now we're going to start uh, Streaming. I will show you how it works. Stream to YouTube. And there we go. It always starts with a lot of errors first, but uh, now as you see, it uh, it runs. It always says some messages. It's, uh, don't worry about them. Uh, as you see, it's uh, it's doing its job. And it's running. Now I'm gonna show you via uh, my phone if I'm actually running a live stream. Now here you see it shows the and I don't know if you can see it but it shows the same thing as what I see out the window. So uh, it also says that it's live And uh, I'll show you with this camera as well uh, 
uh, what's it doing? Uh, you see, it's the same picture. I'll show you the the FS5. Uh, what is what is it is doing at the moment? You see, the FS5 is still still streaming. And uh, yeah, it shows the same image. I'm not sure how I'm gonna use this feature still, but uh, yeah, I do think it's a, it's a fun fact and uh, yeah, it could be usable uh, for many of you if you uh, want to, to use this uh, in, in the field, then it's handy. Uh, you don't have to use a very large laptop to use uh, this kind of stuff. So uh, if you can connect a laptop somewhere uh, in the field, uh, set up your camera, uh, connect to the laptop and then stream it to the internet, yeah, it would be fine. Um, I can even think you can use a Raspberry Pi uh, with some Raspberry Pi uh, OS um, on which you use as a hotspot on your phone and then the, connect the Raspberry Pi to your phone and then stream from the FS5 to the Raspberry Pi and then uh, use the phone as an internet connection and then you can put it in your backpack and then you can use it as a hotlink uh, to the web uh, to be a wireless reporter <laughs> you can uh, obviously do that and uh, Raspberry Pi would, uh, would help that with a power bank and maybe I'm, I'm gonna build it for fun. Uh, I don't think it's that hard because you can use the normal Raspberry uh, OS, uh, put FFmpeg on it uh, and connect it to your phone as a hotspot, that's all. You don't have to have a screen or anything, you just have to do it once and it will figure itself out. Um, okay, that's it for now. If you have questions, then uh, hit me up. Uh, Take a look at the GitHub site and uh, also go to uh, YouTube groups and join uh, live, uh, live streaming services, the group. Uh, with live, live streaming services, I'm going to talk about all kinds of live streaming and how you can uh, uh, set that up for your clients. Uh, like I have a big uh, multi-camera live streaming setup in my, uh, for, that I use for clients. Uh, this is uh, for fun, uh, but uh, maybe I find some use for it. So please join me in the group. That would be fun. Uh, and yeah, if I have new code or anything, then I'll update the GitHub uh, repository and you'll get it as well. It's totally for free. Do with it what you want. You can redistribute everything. It's all licensed uh, under the unlicensed, which means you can do whatever you want with it. You don't even have to name me but whatever it's all free and do whatever you want okay so bye bye subscribe to my channel also <laughs> that would make me happy and like okay bye bye